morning to all of you. My name is Thibaut Delorme um, from the uh, European Commission. And uh, I'm going to present today a new program uh, which we've just launched, uh, which is called the Copernicus Hackathon. Um, I remember a couple of months ago, we, uh, we promised to the Relays in the Academy that we would put at the disposal uh, several funding instruments which they could use to uh, support their own activities. And uh, this Copernicus Hackathon program is one of these funding instruments which we put at your disposal uh, for your activities. So, um, in brief, um, the Copernicus Hackathon program um, will finance 20 hackathons every year in Europe uh, with up to 20,000 euros per hackathon. So the idea is that the Commission does not organize the hackathons itself, but rather rely on partners uh, such as the relays um, on the ground. So the objective that we have with these hackathons uh, is to stimulate uh, the generation of new Copernicus applications, so new Copernicus users, but also uh, to reinforce the Copernicus ecosystem at the local level. What we mean by that is to uh, foster interactions at your level with the relevant partners that you could have, so universities, large organizations, clusters, and so on. Uh, which uh, we um, think would be interested to uh, to to further um, to further support. So we strongly encourage the relays and the academy to uh, to apply. Uh, the um, the first uh, I'll, I'll explain a little bit the application process in a second. But if you just want to mark down your calendar for the uh, for the application process, it closes in about a month on July 9th uh, for the first uh, for the first application phase. There will, be, uh, there will be a new application phase in, in the future as well. The program is open for two years and the application phase is essentially open permanently. Um, but uh, just going a little bit into the concept, uh, a Copernicus Hackathon is an intensive program uh, where several teams compete to deliver the application based, to deliver applications based on Copernicus. Um, typically, it would last between uh, 24 hours to, to a full week, uh, depending on, on, on your project. Um, and the idea is really that uh, we have several profiles which are interacting in the use of Copernicus. So not only space and Earth observation experts, but also business experts or what we call thematic experts. So that means experts which are specialists of a given area, such as agriculture, forestry and so on and so forth. Uh, but the idea is really that we build these small teams uh, with complementary skills and we teach them how to use Copernicus data very practically and we encourage them to develop an application based on Copernicus in the couple of days uh, of the program. Each organizer uh, of a hackathon is free to choose the thematic area of the hackathon. So if you if you want to apply and you believe that uh, given your uh, own position in your cluster, uh, you should focus, for instance, on agriculture. You're free to submit the topic of your choice. Um, the objective that we have um, is not only to increase the use of Copernicus, um, so that means teaching people actually how to use the data and the Copernicus services, it's also to stimulate the emergence of new applications, um, especially business applications based on Copernicus. Um, we've designed the Hackathon program to be really the entry gate into our startup program. You will see in a second that uh, we'll offer to the winner of, the, of each Hackathon a free ticket to the Copernicus Accelerator to help them develop their, their, their ID. Um, so um, really there is a, on, in, in the back, there's really the idea to, uh, to stimulate the development of applications based on Copernicus. But as I mentioned, it's also uh, a way for us to support the Copernicus ecosystem um, on, on the ground. You are, of course, our ambassadors uh, at, at, at the local level, so we want to support you in reaching out to, um, to partners such as large organizations or universities or research centers, which you would want to involve in the, uh, in the setup of your hackathon. 
Um, so concretely, what we offer uh, is that the commission uh, will finance 85% of your costs up to 20,000 euros. Um, on top of that, the winner of the hackathon will be given a ticket to the Coper Copernicus Accelerator. So in a sense, even the price, the winning price of the, uh, of the hackathon is included as a, as a package from the commission. And uh, the organizer of the hackathon, so if you want to apply, it could be you, you will receive regular support from uh, the program manager, which is the uh, company at ZO. Um, who will be in regular contact with you, uh, will provide you with template, for instance, for your communication strategy, will give you regular advice on how to, uh, how to set up your hackathon, what agenda you could follow, and so on and so forth. So really, um, what we offer, as I said, is up to 20,000 euros, 85% of the cost. That means 50% of your cost will um, have to be financed either by you or some of your partners. Um, and but all for the rest, the 85% are paid by the commission. Um, if you want to apply, uh, the call will be permanently open for the duration of the program. So, so far the contract is signed for two years, uh, including 40 actons. So um, if you want to apply at any given time during these two years, you will be able to apply. What we do is that every six months, we gather all the applications that we re we've received and we, um, and we evaluate them. So the first cutoff uh, is coming quite soon on July 9th uh, because we wanted the, uh, the program to start very quickly uh, following actually several requests from the relays that they, they wanted to, to organize such type of events. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to be part of the first cohort of Copernicus Hackathon, uh, we strongly encourage you to apply before July 9th. Um, you can you can go online. Uh, there is the uh, there is the application uh, email address on the um, uh, website address on the on the slide. Um, the we've designed the application to be uh, to be very light, so uh, it's maximum uh, five to ten pages. Uh, just a brief description of of the uh, of the your your project and uh, and. Uh, replies to a couple of questions which corresponds to our own evaluation criteria uh, based on which we're going to evaluate your, your application. So the evaluation criteria are in the slides. <clears throat> there are three of them uh, which are each of them weighted the same, uh, same weight, so a third each. Uh, so the first criteria is the actual expected number of participants in the hackathon and the quality of the programs. So that means how you actually intend to support the, uh, the, the, uh, the participants, how you're going to train them uh, in using Copernicus, what sort of coaching you want to bring to them. So we are really encouraging here to have very high quality, uh, very high quality programs. The second partner um, is uh, the involvement of relevant partners from the Copernicus ecosystem. So here, it, what it, it relates to the objectives I've uh, explained before, but we're really trying to encourage linkages in your own local ecosystem, so we strongly encourage you not to um, design the hackathon alone, but to rely on other partners with uh, complementary skills, such as uh, large, large um, companies, uh, clusters, um, universities, research centers, uh, SMEs, which you might want to involve in your own project. Uh, we strongly encourage such linkages and they will be uh, evaluated as part of one of the, of the other criteria. The third uh, and final criteria it relates to the experience in Earth observation and the actual ability to increase the use of Copernicus. Uh, what we want to, um, uh, to do here is really make sure that you have the expertise to explain to people how to use Copernicus data. We know that it's a very specific skill and that it, it, it requires some understanding and some knowledge of the of the Copernicus portfolio and and the use of Earth observation data in particular. So we want to make sure that you have this ability and that is this this objective of actually using Copernicus data is factored in your project. So in some, these are the evaluation criteria on which uh, your project will be judged. Um, so again, we strongly encourage you to apply before July 9th with your project. Um, in annex of this presentation, uh, you will find a lot more details um, 
regarding uh, the organization of the of the uh, of the hackathon, what you will receive, uh, what is expected from the organizer, and so on and so forth. Uh, but but I don't want to go too much in the details because, uh, as Anne Catherine was saying, the agenda is quite packed today. But in any case, we remain at your disposal if you have any question um, for uh, regarding this program. And again, we strongly encourage you to uh, to take a look at it. Uh, we think it's a very interesting. Uh, uh, funding opportunity for the for the relays. Thank you very much.